So, Yujiro Hanma is known as the strongest creature in the Baki universe, but still, there are few characters who have the potential to beat him. So the first one is Yuichiro Hanma. For those who don't know, Yuichiro is the father of Yujiro Hanma and the grandfather of Jack Hanma and Baki Hanma. So, Yuichiro is so strong that he was the only man before Yujiro to take on the full military might of the United States with only his bare hands and win. Major General James, the man in charge of the operation against Yuichiro, requested the use of a nuclear bomb just so that he can kill Yuichiro. His reason was that they were unable to control Yuichiro's rampage on a small island near Okinawa and Yuichiro effortlessly annihilated their platoon of soldiers. Yuichiro then proceeds to kill Major General James on board the American battleship and he threw him with such immense power that his corpse pierced through the wood of the ship. When Yuichiro finally appeared before more than 2,000 soldiers who gathered around their commander's corpse, they were all scampered away from him with great fear and jumped from the ship towards the ocean, realizing that the person who stood before them was the man behind the death of all their fellow soldiers and their commander of the ship. Unfortunately, we don't get to see him doing much else in the story because at some point after Yujiro's birth, he passed away due to unknown reasons, most likely due to a natural cause. But later, he appeared as a ghost in the fight of Yujiro Hanma against Baki. He shows up near the end of Baki's climactic fight against his father with the sole purpose of cheering on his grandson. He also taunts Yujiro for having so much difficulty fighting against a kid less than half his age. The interesting thing is that his presence seems to be so intimidating that the inhumanly strong caveman Pickle started trembling at the sight of him. So, the true depths of Yuichiro's strength are still currently unknown, but those who've come across him suggest he is inhumanly strong. As such, shown in the Battle of Okinawa, he is the only other man in the world besides his son to single-handedly defeat the USA during World War II. It is unknown if Yuichiro is stronger than Yujiro, but it is stated that he was the only man he never defeated. I know, it has been said several times that Yujiro is the strongest character in the series and can defeat entire armies with his bare hands and stop earthquakes with his fists. But still, few characters manage to go toe to toe against him and hold their own against him and even pushed him to use the demon back. But I think his father is the only person who is really stronger than him. And we also have speculation that Yuichiro is the only man who had defeated Yujiro Hanma. When Yuichiro in spirit form appeared during the battle between Baki and Yujiro, Yujiro was visibly worried and almost terrified by his presence. Whenever I see those expressions of Yujiro when he saw his father, it makes me think that Yujiro and Yuichiro actually fought and Yujiro lost against his father. And those expressions recall Yujiro when he fought against his father and lost badly. The most amusing thing is that Yuichiro made fun of Yujiro, saying he was fighting a child. He literally laughed at Yujiro, implying that Yuichiro would have defeated Baki more easily and quickly than Yujiro. Usually, Yujiro gets angry when someone tries to make fun of him. Yet, when his father mocked him, Yujiro seemed almost afraid. He had nothing to say. Yujiro stood there like an idiot, petrified from fear when his father appeared during the fight between him and Baki. Some Baki fans say that Yujiro killed Yuichiro and I strongly disagree with them because judging by Yujiro's expressions when he saw his father, it does not seem that he actually killed him. Otherwise, why is he visibly worried and almost terrified of the presence of his father? Well, we don't know whatever happened between these two, but it's clear that Yuichiro was never defeated by Yujiro and Yuichiro might have actually defeated his son when he was alive. After Yuichiro, we have the legendary samurai Musashi Miyamoto. So, 
Musashi Miyamoto was once Japan's greatest swordsman and is Japan's most renowned legend 400 years later. Some time after the final battle between Yujiro and Baki, Musashi was resurrected through scientific cloning and supernatural soul transfer by Tokugawa and his sister. So, Miyamoto Musashi squares off with Yujiro Hanma fairly early on after his introduction in the series. Their fight doesn't have a definitive conclusion because it was interrupted by Izo Motobe, but it was teased that the legendary samurai may have been able to beat and even kill Yujiro. When he fought against Yujiro, he became the first character in the Baki universe who was able to make Yujiro bleed by landing multiple cuts on his body. And he also made Yujiro use cheap tricks like kicking in the nuts against him because Yujiro knew that facing Musashi head-on could lead to some serious injuries. The resurrected samurai was the perfect foil to the established Baki caste. Not only did he primarily use weapons, but he was also someone who approached each fight with the intent to kill his opponent. The fact that he ran counter to every norm established in the series makes him a logical contender to beat the seemingly unbeatable Yujiro. It was shown early on that Musashi didn't know how to handle modern martial arts, but that changed during his run in the series. By the end, he was familiar with how to counter most techniques and likely he would have been an even greater threat to Yujiro. Musashi is extremely straightforward. He acts more or less like an ambitious fame-striving artist of martial arts who desires the fame and glory he once had. Unlike any of the other fighters, Musashi is alone and mentally distant from the rest of the world, even more so than Pickle himself. Unlike him, Musashi was unable to adapt to the modern age. Musashi doesn't indeed feel any semblance of sympathy for others and he hardly shows much of any concern about who he injures or kills. Aside from his swordsmanship, Musashi also seems to have knowledge of the martial arts of his era. His intelligence is very high. In fact, Musashi is a battlefield genius. He is extremely perceptive thoughtful and has immense wisdom over the arts of war, especially sword fighting. He knows every sword fighting technique there is and many others, which can effectively counter just about every other fighting style in the series. He was so skilled with the sword and in battle that he learned how to cut people without even using his swords and his mind can pick up the signals of people's brains when they prepare to attack. So, if Musashi fought Yujiro in an all-out battle, he might be able to defeat him because his use of swords makes his every attack lethal. And when Yujiro and Musashi fought for the first time, it was shown that Yujiro is not strong enough to withstand direct slashes from Musashi's sword. After him, we have Pickle. So it was implied that Pickle, in terms of pure raw strength, is stronger than Yujiro Hanma. I know some people may not agree, but the first encounter between Pickle and Yujiro was mistranslated. But now that we have got the anime, it's clear that when Yujiro and Pickle started pushing their fists against each other in the test of might, Yujiro was overpowered and admitted that Pickle made him pull a move on him because Pickle was just too strong. Later, Baki tried to create an imaginary Pickle through the power of imagination and failed. He failed because he could not even partially assess how strong Pickle was. Baki couldn't even recreate a trace of Pickle's aura and even said that it never happened before. Baki, by his own admission, said that he couldn't get a clear idea of how strong Pickle was. After seeing that he can't quantify how powerful Pickle was, Baki strongly believed that if he faced Pickle in a fight, he can surpass his father, Yujiro. He strongly believed that if he fought and won against Pickle, it would make him stronger than his father and he could accomplish his goal of surpassing his father in strength. Pickle's Herculean strength has also been shown on various occasions. He was capable of withstanding a strength test with Yujiro Hanma himself, 
resisted a charge from Kaoru Hanayama, sent Baki Hanma flying through the Karukuen arena with a single kick, chopped a leg from Kaiyu Retsu after beating him, defeated Jack Hanma two times with only a few punches, and broke all of his teeth including his jaw as well, and pulled a giant crocodile the size of a small dinosaur through a sewer tunnel which would have required the strength of a bulldozer. While Pickle is capable of learning, Pickle is still mostly primitive, due to living most of his life in a wild era filled with nothing but creatures who used only their brute force and monstrous size to win battles. Pickle's biggest weakness turned out to be his lack of technical skill. Experienced martial artists can take advantage of this weakness, but Pickle's raw strength almost nullifies this weak point. And if Pickle manages to learn some martial arts, I don't think anyone else other than Yujiro would have the skills to stop him. Next one in our list is our dearest Jack Hanma. I know at this point in the story, it's almost clear that Jack is nowhere near Yujiro and is probably a lot weaker than Baki. But one thing about Jack that is very impressive is his sheer will and his ability to learn, adapt and get stronger every time he loses. Since biting is Jack's signature technique, it has become his martial pursuit and Jack has devoted himself to it. He travelled around the world and has finally completed his technique in Taiwan and mastered his skill. He calls it Godu, the way of biting. He also had a full set of artificial titanium teeth surgically implanted in his mouth since he lost all of his original teeth. From the results of his Godu, Jack is capable of forming a 500 yen coin in a triangle-like shape by using his artificial teeth. His sight has improved to the point that he is able to see countless major and minor blood vessels similar to X-ray vision. Jack himself has stated that his Gudu sees all animals and all humans as nothing more than dense clumps of vital points. With Gudu, Jack can bite and tear off opponents' body parts in moments before they even know it. Jack is also the only Hanma who doesn't have the demon back and it's less likely that he will get one in the future. But if by chance he manages to activate his demon back or something else that can give a boost to his abilities, then I think he might be able to give a challenge to Yujiro and at least come close to defeating Yujiro just like Baki. Another character who fans think might put up a good fight with Yujiro in the future is Nomi no Sukune. But in my opinion, Nomi no Sukune will not win against Yujiro Hanma. The best feats of Nomi no Sukune are where he crushed coal into diamond and defeated Oliva Biscuit with ease. And Yujiro too has done these feats. He crushed coal into diamond and also easily overwhelmed Oliva Biscuit with his strength. So speaking of physical strength, Sukune is not superior to Yujiro just because he easily defeated Biscuit and crushed coal into diamond. Yujiro did the same things with his physical strength, so they can be assumed equal in terms of strength. But this will not be enough for Sukune to defeat Yujiro Hanma, because Yujiro Hanma is a far more skilled fighter than Sukune. While Sukune is a sumo fighter, Yujiro has complete mastery of all known fighting styles in the world, Yujiro also knows every technique and skill, and if he sees a technique unknown to him, he can immediately learn and master that unknown technique simply just by looking. So, even if Sukune is equal in strength to Yujiro, it will not be enough to bring Yujiro down. Sukune can match Yujiro's base strength, but Yujiro can amplify himself with the demon back and become stronger, faster, more durable and he can hit even harder. So at this point, Sukune is absolutely outclassed in every way and would be demolished easily by Yujiro. So the last one on our list is Baki himself. So during their final fight, although Baki is able to strike Yujiro several times, the fight still appears to be heavily in his father's favor. Yujiro pauses many times to give Baki time to recover and to offer him fighting advice towards the end of their fight. 
Yujiro is in good shape while Baki is severely injured and beaten. Yujiro recognizes him as his son and the only person who could give him a real fight. Baki himself gives Yujiro the victory because Yujiro was able to withstand his attacks and could have beaten him confidently. Evidenced by the fact that Baki was only barely holding himself together while Yujiro had sustained minimal injuries. So, the match ends with Yujiro essentially sharing the title of the world's strongest with Baki because although he had won the physical brawl, it didn't sit right with him to declare himself on another level above Baki anymore as he needed to try more than he ever had to in the past. So we can say that Baki is not clearly stronger than Yujiro but he is very close to beating Yujiro and in the near future, Baki might be able to surpass his father and take the title of the strongest for himself. So make sure to comment, who do you think has the highest chance of beating Yujiro from this list? And thanks for watching this video.